Oh, we live? <laughs> we live, baby. Yeah. It's raining out there. Y'all ain't got nothing, nowhere to go, nothing to do. Might as well call the show, baby. Yeah. We up in here. Me and Akili. I ain't gonna be solo all night. Boy Zeke coming through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. man. How was y'all weekend? Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. He's a mother for the mother and the fathers for the fathers. <laughs> yeah, it's your boy Super Black birthday today. Uh. Oh, I'm sick. I should put that suit on. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I think we got. We're gonna keep going, just keep going. Hello! Nathan. Hey, you wanna talk up live, baby? Yeah, what's going on, young man? <laughs> hey, cuz, how you doing, man? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, thank you, man. Happy birthday to you. I wish you a birthday uh, last week on on, uh, on your birthday on the show. I gave yeah, you, I, gave yeah you I got it, I got it. I'm yeah, I gave you a shout out, baby. How y'all doing over yeah, there? Yeah, I had to come. We're good, man. It's hot, it's hot as Vegas. Ooh. Yeah, ain't nothing but rain over here, man. Well, I'll, I'll trade you. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have to, have to call and wish my cousin happy birthday. I know that's right, man. What's been going on? Not much, you know, just, just being dad and raising these little ones to keep me busy, you know, Father's Day was off the chain. Oh, that's good, that's good. Yeah, man. Yeah, so other than that, man, I just wanted to give you a quick holler and wish you happy birthday. I didn't, I didn't forget you because I know you didn't forget about me. Yeah, man. Thanks, man. And, you know, I love you. I love you, cousins, that have to call in and check in and say happy birthday to you. Man. Uh oh, don't make me cry. Don't make me cry on Al, man. I all right, all right, all right, get the tissue, get the tissue. All right, man, thank you. All right, because I thought you still love you, man. All right, take it easy, love you too. All right, okay, bye-bye. Yeah, that's yeah, my cousin from Vegas, man. Last week, I, uh, I gave him a shout-out. Uh, I said, Vegas, Las Vegas, California, it's Las Vegas, Nevada. I bet you all y'all already knew that, but... I did mess it up, but I, who don't make mistakes? Man, don't make mistakes. But yeah, thanks, Nate. That's Nate Dog from Las Vegas, Nevada. What's up, Drake? You gotta call in, Drake. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's up, Abdul? Abdul on here. Perry, we got Perry. Oh, that boy is cold on that saxophone. Y'all don't know. He's the coldest saxophonist ever. This side of this side. South side. Hey y'all doing? What's up, Nisi? Got Nisi on here. Everybody on here, y'all. We're gonna be live tonight. My sister Laura just joined. You off already, girl? Oh yeah, you off. Y'all call in, wish your boy happy happy uh birthday. I was about to say Mother's Day. We trying to get this light right on us. But uh, it might be a little dark, man. I don't know. Maybe I got on too much white. You think, you think that might be it? <laughs> Let me take this shirt off. Uh oh. Put on the music. Doom, doom, doom. Well, yeah, I'm taking my shirt off for real. You gotta get this lighting right, man. I don't know if it's gonna switch anyway. 
Hey, CC, what's up, Trey? Shirt off, oh, white shirt, balance was on. Look, man, that made a whole lot of difference. <laughs> that don't make no sense, man. I guess it was back, backlash. Man, show my guns. I'm working out. <laughs> no, I don't got no. I got no pants. Y'all think y'all want my brother? Shout out to my brother. He bought me a cake. I thought he was gonna bring it to me. Burnt off. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut my cake in a little bit. What's up, Tina? My other sister. Tina on here. Look, she typed in. But Tina's watching. I see it. <laughs> you don't have to do that. <laughs> I bought my sister something else. I love you, girl. She gonna send me something later. I'm gonna tell y'all about it later. I got it written down. She got a GoFundMe for a sweet young lady. But I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all about it later. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna spill the beans all over there, bro. But um, yeah, man. Thank y'all for watching the show. What's up, Anthony? A B? M Book You know what I'm saying? Everybody coming in. We got some. We got some. Hot stuff today, boy. We got some hot stuff, but it, we gonna, I'm gonna let y'all get y'all birthday shots in if y'all want to. Man, taking that shirt off does a whole lot for the lighting, don't it? I guess the the light is bouncing off the shirt and pushing back at the camera. I don't know. What's up, mama? Look, mama all up on here. Mama, mama, what you gonna say today? You gonna say something nice or you gonna chop me up? Don't, don't get on here clowning. I promise you, I will clown you. Y'all can uh, y'all can do some uh, some stories about how you know me, or some stories that you know about me, or you can roast if you dare, cause I roast back. I'm just let y'all know. Y'all can. Uh, what's up, Zeno? Thanks, man. Thanks, Lord. Uh, I roast back, so if y'all got something, something to shoot at, or you can just say something nice, you know what I'm saying? But I take a roast. I ain't gonna roast y'all too bad on here. This is Talk Up. I am Silky Black, and uh, thank y'all for watching. What's up, Amara? It's my nephew. What's up, Amara? <laughs> Ayana on here. <laughs> y'all supposed to be calling and doing. I've been getting them all day. Chop, chop who up? <laughs> he telling my mama to chop me up. My mama don't want none. I'm telling you, mama, let's go sit down somewhere. Or you be on that go sit show down somewhere to listen. <laughs> I just play. I love you, mama. But we got some juicy stories for y'all coming up. Before I get into the stories, y'all. Uh. Did y'all see the video where the little dog was trying to save people and he went out there and uh, barked at the alligator and got too close to the little alligator. The alligator grabbed him and took him in the water, man. The people were screaming at I don't know why, but that was so funny to me. I know you dog lovers probably be mad at me. Uh, the number gonna pop up there in a minute, Laura. I know your dog lover's gonna be mad at me. But that was just funny to me. That little dog was like, burr, 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 burr. <laughs> And they was hollering, no, no. But they gonna, they gonna miss that little puppy, man. That was sad. What's up, Alicia? Oh, we got Seabrook in the house. We got 
Louisiana, we got Clear Lake. Everybody in the house. Nah, I ain't gonna be, I ain't gonna be cruel today. I'ma just. Uh oh, we got a call coming in. Let's see who this is. Uh, good evening, young man. You're live on a talk show with Silky Black. Uh, who's calling? This Dre. What's up, Dre? <laughs> what is you, baby? You got it, man. You got it. Man, happy birthday, bro. Happy birthday. Thanks, man. You know what I'm saying? Able to see another birthday, baby. Holding it down. I feel. It feel like, a, well, I really want to get up this morning. You know, my birthday plus it was Monday, but I went on ahead and slid up out of that bag. But I've been up. Uh, yeah, I slid up out of bed, and, you know, stood up, took me a minute to focus my yeah. eyes. But other than that, that, <laughs> that that's regular, huh? Not, yeah. not yeah, just because my birthday. <laughs> In a few years, you'll be laying that water down. So I really need to go to work today. Oh, man, don't say, don't tell me that, man. Don't say that to me. How was your father's day, man? Five. How was your father's uh, day? It was awesome, man. It was awesome. That's good. My wife took my everything. That's good. That's what I want to hear. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, man. What's up? Yeah, I appreciate the birthday shout out, man. Yeah, uh, man. I look out for my people, man. I know, I know that's right. Several times. You look out for me several times, man. I appreciate everything. Oh, oh Dre. Hold oh, it. What's the topic? What's the topic tonight? What you got on topic tonight? Man. Well, first of all, I wanna, I wanna tell everybody: don't hit me on Facebook. Don't call my phone. Don't do nothing. To, if you, if, if. If any one of y'all go back to the Waffle House. Whoa. The Waffle House Whoa. needs to be boycotted. Don't you know somebody got put in jail for getting overcharged for orange juice at the Waffle House? <laughs> yeah, it happened again. Oh, it's not this is not an old, it just happened. It just happened like uh, I think it was last Tuesday, Wednesday, something like that. Uh -oh. I ain't never had no. It just getting my off. Hold up, Dre. Let me let me answer this other line. All right, hold on. All right, thanks for calling, man. Yes, Call from Lacay. Thanks for calling. Talk up. Uh, who's calling? You live on the on the phone on the line with Silky Black and Lack. I don't know how to connect with every way I go. <laughs> Happy birthday, Tony! Ah, thank you, sugar. <laughs> Are you enjoying it? Yeah, yeah. I got some cake and everything. Cake. Cake and everything. We got cake and everything. Y'all don't know what I did last night. <laughs> Y'all don't know what I did last you night. Hey, <laughs> I, I, I brought it in. Other cousins are going to tell you happy birthday, too. Okay. Happy birthday, cousin. Who this, darkest? Happy birthday, cousin. Oh, Lord. Who is this? <laughs> Happy birthday. Hey. Who is this, Akina? Hey. Yeah. I, I thought you was Dawkins. <laughs> I saw a horse. I know. <laughs> oh, oh, so you're you supposed to be turning up having a cocktail. I know, right? Y'all could have came pulled up with me today. I'd have drunk a little I bit. I know, of, right? I'd have drunk some apple juice. He was just mapping juice. <laughs> yeah, look, look, my uh, nephew bring. We got cranberry juice. <laughs> oh yeah, I have got turned up. We be turned up. We be turned up. We be turned up. Yeah. I got, <laughs> I got my cake. All right, hold on. Hello. 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 Hello.
Thank y'all for coming. All right. I'll talk to y'all later. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Call from Omari J. Tips. Good evening, young man. You're on the phone with Silky Black. Talk up live, baby. What you got to say to me? Happy birthday. Ah. <laughs> who, who this is? <laughs> you know who this is. <laughs> That's my nephew, y'all. Shouting out his oh, uncle on his oh, birthday. Man. Well, all right. Thank you, young man. They got a lot of calls coming in, but thank you. Uh, I'll let me later. Uh, Call from Cheryl. Hey, you on the phone with Silky Black. Talk up. What's going on? Who what is, up, Jeffrey? Who this is? AKA Silky Black. <laughs> AKA Mr. K. Won't Stop. Ah, uh, K. Stop. Won't Stop. Bring it all back to the what? Hey. Hey, Jesse. This is Cheryl. <laughs> hey, Cheryl. Thank you, girl. For calling. Welcome. Happy sure. birthday. Enjoy your birthday. Yeah, I am. I'm trying to. I'm about to eat this cake. <laughs> this rum cake. Cake, 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 cake. cake. Yeah. <laughs> this cake. This ain't a rum right, cake. Jesse. It's a. Uh, all, all right. I'm going to tell you, tell you about my cake. It, it ain't a rum cake. It's a. Uh, what was what alcohol uh puff daddy got? Ciroc. It's a Ciroc cake. Full of Ciroc, mama. I'm gonna be gone off of this cake. I might be stumbling a little bit at towards the end of the show. <laughs> but it's gonna be good. You know what I'm saying? That's how we do. Y'all think y'all keep calling in, keep calling and wishing happy birthday. This is making me excited. I feel I feel your presence. When the phone ring, I feel your presence. I said, when the phone ring, when you call me. Uh oh, here we go. See? Huh? <laughs> hey, you on the phone live with Suki Black? Who this is? Hey, hey. Who? Happy birthday. Who this? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, dear Zachary. Happy birthday to you. Who is mama? Hello? Hey, boy. Um, it's your mom. It's your mom. <laughs> I, I, that's why I was asking. <laughs> Hey, you, know, you sure act well, how many people, Yeah, how many people do I talk to? Hey, oh, I don't you know. answering me over there, you talking to somebody else over there. I'm talking. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's your mom, it's your mama, baby. <laughs> All right. Thank you for calling, I love you. Yeah, that was my mama, y'all. She uh, having problems with her phone over there. So uh, we uh, disconnected. I, I talked to her earlier, so y'all don't feel bad about that. Um, look, thank y'all for calling, man. Uh, Akita got a knife so I can cut this cake. Uh huh. Yeah, we, we about to get this cake thing going right quick. Uh, y'all, uh, that was my mama. Mama, I love you. Thanks for calling in. And uh, get that phone fixed. You know, you can't hear out that uh, receiver. And, uh, I'm cut this cake a little bit, y'all. Oh, yeah. Is this an ice cream cake? Oh, this is an alcohol cake. We're going to cut it live right now. While I'm cutting this cake, y'all can be calling and wishing them, throwing them birthday shots out there. That's making me feel young. I'm getting, I'm getting up there. But... The reality is, <laughs> I keep eating this cake. Shout out to my nephew Akili, getting me forks and stuff and knives. Thanks, young man. <laughs> Boy, I sure wish y'all could share this cake with me. Here you go. I'll taste it for you. Ooh. 
taste the alcohol all the way through here. Mm. Mm. Dre, I'm sorry. Dre, we got Jamie Foxx. We got Waffle House. We got CeeLo. And we got some other stuff too coming for y'all. But we got all that to talk about. I want y'all to, we, we, we got to talk about this, y'all. We got to talk up on this right here. Somebody, somebody going to say something about this. But yeah. I know I ain't supposed to be doing none of this on air. But hey, it's my birthday. So, that's how we do it. Tina, tell mama, uh, get that phone fixed. Please, please. Uh, sorry, y'all. But we got, uh, we got my, my, my homeboy Zach coming through here. And, uh, we got some topics to talk about. And, uh, we gonna do it like that. Happy birthday. Two, man. <laughs> Anyway, let's jump on these topics before I get too drunk. Now, back on Waffle House. If y'all, if any of y'all go back to Waffle House, these, these people, okay, if y'all don't know, I'm going to tell you. If y'all don't know, I'm about to tell you. They had, uh, they had some people go to Waffle House. They, they was actually ordering their food to go. So they ordered the food. They looked on their they thing, they uh, receipt, and saw that the orange juice was overpriced. And the dude was like, hey, excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am, sir. Um, my orange juice is like $4. And on the menu, it's $1.50. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. You need to get your stuff and leave. Okay. Uh, well, we haven't got our stuff. We're, we're about to leave. We ordered it to go. Uh, but I was just letting you guys know about my orange juice. And I just, you know, want my money back for the orange juice. I'm calling the cops. For what? I just want my money back for the orange juice. Cops come. Of course, wrestle them out the Waffle House, put them in handcuffs, and take them to jail. What is going on, y'all? Can somebody help me out with this? Because I have no idea what's going on. What's up, Chakel? I have, I have no idea what's going on with this mess, man. I, well, I do kind of have an idea, but can somebody else help me out? Because if I say it, uh, somebody gonna be mad. Every time we go to the Waffle House, have anything to say to the the waiters or the staff or anything, ask for silverware to go, anything like that. We get put in jail. Ain't no way in the world this is right. Something gotta be done about this. Now, while people trying to shut down uh, stuff that don't matter. You should be shutting down the Waffle House. Stop eating that without. That ain't that good anyway. It's a bunch of junk food anyway. What you're paying for. Stay up. <coughs> Stay up out of that Waffle House. Don't let me catch none of y'all back up in that goddamn trashy Waffle House in the first place. It don't make no sense. Thank y'all for all the birthday shout outs, y'all. Don't make me, don't let me get upset on my birthday. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, it's it's like, well, what did they get? What did they get arrested for? Is it because they were black or what? Because that's the only reason I can see. You go somewhere, you get overcharged, and you go to jail. That should be the other way around. Hey, Monica. What's going on? I think Monica going to be on the show a couple more weeks, y'all. I don't know. She said she was. Hope so. Hope she can make it. 
Thank you, young lady. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Um, yeah, but what actually did they go to jail for? Because if you get overcharged for something, oh, my mama say, how old am I today? Mama, mama okay, I'm 42 years old. How are you tripping? I'm not scared to say my age. Oh, Monica say she gonna be on here. Cool, well, we'll see you then. We'll show that the world see you. She's done a lot of, <clears throat> she's done a lot of good stuff around here. So, well, um, she had a lot of stuff to say. But, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not scared to say my age, mom. I'm 42 years old today. I've been here for 42 years. My mama had me when she was, what, 30? So, do the math. <laughs> How old are you, mama? Mama? But yeah, but, uh, stay out of Waffle House, y'all. You see where it's landing us. If you don't get good service, and they don't give good service either from what, so from what I've experienced over there. There's always some dirty, Country hick fight, fighting, horrible service. You know what I mean? I know people gotta have jobs and stuff, but they right there sweating in the food. At least if you don't sweat in the food, do it to where I can't see you. <laughs> don't go to Waffle House, they don't want you there. I don't know why you wanna be somewhere that you ain't wanted. So, let's boycott, boycott Waffle House, boycott Waffle House. I hope. I ain't going. I know I ain't going over there. But uh, call in. Tell me what you think about the Waffle House. If you're going, if you're going back or plan on going back, you should you should choke on a piece of waffle if you do go. Because either that or you're going to jail. Either jail or choke on a waffle. So, if I was you, I'd stay up out of there. Maybe we should start making businesses that competition with those type of business. <clears throat> Matter of fact, the, the uh, International House of Pancakes changed their name to, from IHOP to IHOB. I guess there's uh, International House of Breakfast, Bacon, Biscuits, Bubbles. But what? Burgers? International House of Burgers? You ever had a, anybody ever had a burger from I, I, I Hop? I Hop? Wow. That's dumb. They should have said, and now we serve burgers. That's all they had to say. Instead of changing the whole logo and everything behind that crap. Don't eat that either. But what I'm saying, maybe we should start pushing businesses that's, that compete with that, what well, well, people don't want you at. We'll get, we'll take that business. I know that's right. I can make a hell of a waffle myself. Pancakes too. I make the best pancakes. Ain't that right, Mama? But well, Mama, you know, Mama can tell you. I, I beat her in a pancake making fun too. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, let's let's get up out of there, y'all. We don't need to be around them anyway. If they, if we don't, if they don't want us around them. Stay away from them. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, moving on to the next topic. This cake is delicious. Matter of fact, next call to call in, I'm going to email you some of this cake. <laughs> I'm going to email you a slice of this cake for the next four callers that call in. Get a freshly baked email cake and, uh, and a t-shirt. I'll text a t-shirt to you. How about that? But yeah, I ain't, I ain't gonna be able to eat all this cake by myself. 
My teeth hurting already. Hey, Ann. Ann, I seen your mama not too long ago. She didn't know who I was. She was like, uh, yeah, who, who are you, baby, coming hugging on me? I said, I'm Miss Hollis, boy. She said, oh, see, I don't know none of y'all. See, Ann would have knew exactly who you was. I was like, ha, ah, got it. But anyway, I'm sorry, y'all. Um, come help me eat some of this cake. Y'all know where I'm at, flip over here. Get some of this cake up at me, you know. And you want some cake? <laughs> Mama, you want some cake? Y'all know where to come get it at. That's right here, baby. I don't think I eat no more. I'm on a diet. Uh, what else we got? Oh, we got a little rapper that got killed or something like that, right, Akita? What's his name? Extensions? XX Extensions? Something like that? I don't know him, but my cousin told me, uh, I mean, my, my nephew told me, my nephew and my niece told me that he got shot or something. Tell me what happened. You can say it. Oh, you don't know? I guess he just got shot in the car. <clears throat> something about a little rapper got shot in the car. A little black guy? Yeah, a little black guy. His name is XXX. Tensions? Am I saying it right? What is it? Oh, something like that, man. Sorry, sorry, little dude. <laughs> I know that's right. Cheryl say if she if she see. If she see anybody that she know eating at the Waffle House, she's slapping it out of them. Including her own family. <laughs> I'll be standing in line, we're going to slap them. Because they need to be slapped. They want to be slapped. But, uh, yeah, little, little dude, little rapper dude got killed. Uh, man, I, I, there's probably some kind of beef going on. I don't even want. I don't even want to talk about no beef, because that's what happens at the end of beef. If you want beef with somebody, you know what happens after beef. You end up getting killed, hurt, shot, died, all that. What you beefing for? Why we beefing with each other? We need to be beefing with the Waffle House. Ain't nobody rapping about the Waffle House, putting them out in the street, taking their money out. And the people didn't give them their food. They didn't give the people their food. They took them to jail. Yeah, that's how they do, do you dirty. We take your money and we put you in jail. Go to go to jail only. Who cares? And you don't get no silverware. Gotta do something different, y'all. Gotta do something. Help me. Help me do something different. Is that Tanya? Hey, Tanya. She got a nice uh, radio voice. She should come uh, be on the show. Tanya, can you come? Huh? Huh? Can you? Can you? It's a delay. I know it's a delay. But when she hears, she going to answer. I hope. <laughs> yeah, so we got to do something different. I don't know if y'all just going to sit up here and let them do y'all like that. Because I ain't going back. We was talking about that a while back. It was like anywhere else uh, people get bad service. They don't go no more. Except us. We get we we accept all the bad service. At the corner stores, they treat us like junk. In the hospitals, they treat us like junk. Oh, at the Waffle House, some people went in. Oh, Ann asked what happened at Waffle House. She missed it. Uh, some some people went into Waffle House and they was getting their food to go. And so when they ordered their food, they noticed that their orange juice was way overpriced. So they told the people, uh, hey, my orange juice is overpriced. You know, it, it's usually uh, like a dollar fifty or whatever, like four dollars. 
So the people was like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. And it's like, yeah, well, well okay, we just want, want the money back. You want your money back? Hey, get out of here. What do you mean get out of here? Okay, if you don't want to leave, I'm calling the cops. So they called the cops. The people still waiting, trying to get their food so they can leave. Never gave them their food. Cops came, took them to jail. Handcuffs, took them to jail, and everything. Took them to jail, hungry. No food, no orange juice, no receipt, no nothing. How you like that? Horrible. They wrestled some black girl down, showed her titties to the world in Waffle House because she, now this is a different story, because she wanted some to go silverware and they wouldn't give it to her, she wouldn't leave, so they called the cops. When the cops came, they wrestled this woman to the floor, pulls her titties out, mopped the floor with her titties, and took her to jail. Yeah, titty milk was everywhere. But another, you know, they had the people getting shot in Waffle House, of course. And uh, I think they had another Waffle House incident too, but it's just getting too many to count. I can't count them out. And uh, yeah, but that's what happened. And uh, it, it's just getting ridiculous. I don't know why people like it anyway. It's a bunch of poison food. It's a bunch of thick, uncooked. Waffles and hey, thanks, man. Thanks, man. I'm getting a lot of birthday shots, man. Damon and Pepper. Thanks, man. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just it's just getting bad. And we gotta do something about it, or they gonna keep doing it. They gonna just keep doing, it. keep doing it. until we say something. Because the majority of the people that eat at Waffle House is black folks. Majority. Because they leaving them clubs, they hungry. They go to Waffle House. Yeah, give them two bags, two strips of bacon, a waffle, some orange juice. And they get they be half sleepy or half drunk or whatever. And they they get treated bad. They don't really care. They just want something to eat. And then after that, they go home. Leave. After getting treated bad, leave a tip and go home. I wouldn't leave nothing. I don't leave no tips. What is going on? But, yeah, it just, uh, gotta do something, man. Gotta do something. But find some go to go to IHOB. That, that's, at least for now, until they start throwing people in jail. Go, go up there. Get your get your waffles. Oh my, oh, and say, oh my God, this has got to stop. Best believe our people will pick right back up after the club this Friday and Saturday and just be like. Uh, get free coffee at Starbucks. Yeah, they uh, they right back at Starbucks. They, she said they gonna pick right back up and start going to Waffle House just like they did Starbucks. Starbucks too. What's up, Zach? Man, what's up, fam? What's going on, man? Man, I'm a little bit, little bit, little later today. That's all right, man. Man, come through, come through the corner, man. Chick, clip my truck, man. Oh, it's sad. Didn't have no insurance. So, for the great good, you know, we good though. We were oh. child, and it's uh. Oh, anyway, man, happy birthday, man. Thanks, man. Man, I had a brother something for you, you know. We're passing on that knowledge, and uh, that's a book, Think and Grow Rich. Yeah. Because uh, this an empire here starting here, and uh, just. Let you know, oh man, look at this cake. Man, yeah, we got cake, you want a piece? Yeah, yeah you know I'm gonna get a piece. Yes. But I'm just, but I'm just saying, man, it's, it's, it's so rich. Yes. <laughs> Ain't no way I'm gonna be able to eat another slice of this cake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well, what I missed, man, I just I just pulled up. What, what, what we talking about already? Well, uh, I kind of touched on a little. Uh, did you see the video where the dog 
We got eight by an alligator. No. No, dog got eight by an alligator. It's not even a big story. I was just laughing at it pretty much. Ah, he said happy birthday to you. She said a shout hey, out to you. Hey, happy birthday. I mean, thank you, B. <laughs> so wait a minute. So you said uh, alligator ate dog in the video? The dog seen the alligator and, you know, dog got to show out in front of the people. So, dog was too close. Yeah, the dog was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You a dog. And that alligator say, come here. I mean, in one bite. To Took him in the water. The, alli the alligator is, 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 is awful. And it was a rap. Them people was hollering, no. But see, you know what? Last time we, no! was it, we was talking about that woman that walked the dog at night. Like, you know, if you got wild, wild animals like that around there, you don't, you can't, you in their domain. Yeah. You know, so. Exactly. I, I laughed at it. I, I know some people might might be mad, but man, I, I, I mean, when I was up, he said she seen it. <laughs> did she see it? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look at it later on. Did you uh check uh, uh while I was coming? I heard about that young rapper that got killed. Yeah, uh, I mentioned that. Oh, did you talk about that already? Okay. What, what's his name? His name was like X X X Tenacion or something like that. X X. She's very confusing. You know what I'm saying? Just, but they say he went by X. Yeah. Yeah, but he uh he apparently was buying a motorcycle or something. Somebody pulled up on him and killed him. And there was another rapper, uh, I think his name was Trap Terrell. He putting out a lot of this trap music was like, say man, they gotta stop this violence against these rappers. That's what I was saying, man. They okay. they so busy beefing with each other when they need to be beefing with the Waffle House that Ooh. don't but that don't want them around. Wait a minute. We still going to Waffle House? We Come on, man. Well, I, 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 I thought that was a boycott of Waffle House. It need to be. Okay. The Waffle House and Starbucks, because obviously they ain't learned yet either. Wow. <sighs> well. But that's exactly what I was saying. It's too much beef going on with each other. Well, you know, last week uh, on uh, this was. Uh, what was that? Breakfast Club? Mm -hmm. Jay Prince came on to kill the beef between uh, Pusha T and uh, Drake. And then mm -hmm. we had just talked about that. And uh, yeah, we don't, we don't, we definitely don't need no 1996, 1997 playing out again. For those of y'all don't know, that's when Tupac and Biggie left us. I guess they, they forgetting about it and going back to it. Like. Well, I mean, we need to. Like, it's all right, you know, beefing and battling, I get that, but like, when it gets to the point to where, you know, you killing folks, like, come on, man. I'm going after your family. Yeah, I'm gonna eat your children. Like, come on, man. That didn't, that didn't, that didn't went too far. Oh, okay, appreciate that, man. Cut me a little piece of this here, man. Now, what, what is this? This is like a, this is super chocolate German chocolate. Super chocolate raspberry German. Raspberry Deluxe. Okay. This here, this here don't look like it's still about. It don't look like it, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Shout out to my brother. He got this for me. Oh, man. All right, bro. My big brother, we, we sat up in here and cried earlier. Man. Oh, man. Mm. <laughs> so we got, so we got the violence going on. We're going to have to address that. Because, uh, we can't be having young people. Because see, you gotta think about it. The rappers today, they are poets. Yeah. They are the street people letting people know what's going on. So and they're not going away. Hip hop is a is a is a movement in itself. And it's it's global. And it, yeah, it's been a movement. It's been a movement, yeah. But it's been a movement, well, when when it was when it was old school. And all them positive rappers, we was talking about that. Uh, uh, Grand Pooba. Uh, yeah, was, yeah. Uh, what's his name? Uh, KRS One. KRS One. Mm -hmm. Who you had? You had uh, Chuck D. Chuck D. Public, Public Enemy. Enemy. Mm -hmm. uh, Big Daddy Kane. Them. Yeah. Heavy D. Heavy D. Gangstar. Well, you know he was. He had a gangster. It was gangster, but it was gangstar. Right. You know, to play on words. Well, see, 
that's what I, I remember. I remember like the South was always dirty. The West was kind of where that gangster rap originated with NWA. And then on the East Coast was like your more conscious rappers. You right. know, your rock cams, you know, the yeah. ones that, that that you had to think about, like what was they saying and how was they, you yeah. know, and like, you know, even uh, this music, you know what, I'm gonna tell you something, it's really nothing new on the song because like this new music that they call, them, you know, trap and mumble, these men, Bone Thugs and Harmony back in the day was doing that. Yeah. You know, and so it's I like- I didn't know what Bone was saying. It was, man, it was going so fast, but I'm saying like they were saying it. They was, they were saying it. They was, I don't know what they were saying, but they was talking fast. Yeah, they were yeah, talking yeah, fast. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. new, it was new to it was, it was new to us, but it was also speaking to a youth generation to see, people can say whatever they want to say about these young rappers, but see, the youth, they got the youth ear. So, right. they're not going to go nowhere. You're not going to, nope. and this ain't no shot of no older rappers out there that's still putting relevant music. But to me, the, the young kids, they listening to that one that's just a few years older than them. Right. And so, like, you know, and, 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 and they have an important voice. And so, when something like this happened, we just got to sit back and, you know, what, what was what was weird is that the youngster, he got killed in Florida and that was his hometown. Like, um, I don't know like how it's set up. I know the cat he had just recently got out of jail, and I know when you first got out of jail, you got probation, mm -hmm. so you can't leave. And so if it was an issue where he was, you know, um, you know, by by law, if he leave, he go to jail. And see, he putting out his music, and then you got people in it. You know, I don't know, man. It's it's crazy. It's just too much. I don't know if the guys. What's up, Eric? I don't know if the guys was uh, beefing with him or. Oh, you talking about who get killed? Yeah. No, uh, they say they say he was he was in a car. Matter of fact, they got video online now. Oh. It, whatever his car is, he had his doors up. He was going to look for a car, and say somebody just rolled up on him in a motorcycle and just killed him. But, and they saying it's not connected, but you know the news. So please don't believe everything you come news, but. What I what they were saying was that there was some kind of gunshots that had just previously happened, and it was like we're not saying that's connected, but you kind of just did it when you said it. Right. And so um, we'll find out more information, but definitely shout out to his, you know, his family and condolences because I don't care. I you know I didn't really know the young man music I listened to. He had a song called Moonlight, I think, in Sadness or something like. That. I listened to it and it was kind of different, but I don't care if he was putting out trap music or whatever. The young man didn't deserve to lose his life, you know. Right, right. So I never heard of. Him. Only time I heard of him was today. Yeah, and yeah, I, yeah, yeah. A lot of these guys I never, never heard of. I just heard of Young Boy. Mm, don't know it. And <laughs> you, oh, you don't know? Never heard and of I, I, I kind of feel shame to say that I know I'm a DJ and I try to do little parties and stuff. So the kids was asking me, "Hey, you got a young boy? Mm. You got a young boy?" I'm like, "I don't, I don't, I don't have any young boy." And like, is he new, new? Like you got, he can put some albums on or DJ? Yeah, he got a whole album. How many, oh, okay. you know, how many albums he got? One, two, maybe, maybe two albums. I mean, it's so hard, Dang, man. You got about five albums. But see, a lot of these guys, they independent. Like, if they've been doing yeah. underground music and they've been releasing like that, and they're not catching that. See, that's the thing about the, uh, I listened to, it was an interview DMX had gave to a, um, um, a, a, a radio disc jockey in mm -hmm. a radio station. And he was asked, X, you know, who's relevant, who's not relevant. And X didn't ask him because he said he don't listen to it because he don't want to be affected. Right. But he asked him, he said, do you get to play what you want to play? A lot of the stuff that the, the DJs at the radio station play or, you know, is coming from high up. Because right. back in the day, I'm talking like in the 80s when the DJs mixed, you played what was hot. You played what people wanted to hear. Yeah. And now, was necessarily hot may not necessarily be well, the music we need to be. Well, yeah, it's like in the nineties, you had that that self conscious rap 
uplifting people. Busta Rhymes, like you said, you mentioned a couple of the greats, you know, that went down, Big Daddy Kane. And they had a message. And I don't necessarily know that the youth, because I feel like if you're rapping and you're rapping about something that's uh, relevant to you, that's real, but it's like, I don't know if these guys are feeling like, well, because I'm 21, and I don't expect to live to be 22, if that's the case, that that's the message that you need to be sending to younger people coming up because unfortunately the youth, they really believe every single word they be saying. So I don't know, it's it's, it's a part, like you, you, you see rappers like uh, T.I., he evolved, he's doing more right. community conscious stuff. And you want these guys to get that money if that's, how they making their money. I'm not hating on right. them or their music or whatever, but I want them to, to, to grow up to be able to, because they when they get older, they're going to change the way they think and they gonna, might want to do something positive, but they can't get there if they don't live, you know, to get there. So, I don't Cause know. Because all the rappers is pretty much this in a nutshell. Look what I got. I got this. I got the girls. Mm -hmm. I got this. Y'all ain't better than me. Rap. That's it. But even still, if they say they're the best rapper, I feel like you gotta feel like that. Regardless if you not, that right. should be the mentality. Like if you you are you be DJ When you DJ, you probably feel like you're the best DJ out there. No. You don't feel like you're the best DJ out there? I'm the best DJ at the party. <laughs> oh, okay. there you go, there you go. Well I'm just saying why you DJ. I mean Right. I, I know what you're saying. Yeah, but. I mean if you're a professional athlete, you don't wanna go out there feeling like you subpar. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you gonna go out there and I'm I'm okay. Now you in the NFL or the NBA or whatever it is, and I mean if it's what you do, you gonna perfect what you do. That's, now, that's you, you, you probably could have said, uh, uh, like when I'm painting a picture. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're a beast when it's painting a picture, you know. Yeah. So yeah. Wow. Yeah. So did, did, did you um did they get a call you yet? Have you had a call? Oh yeah. They, they, they call. They've been wishing. They've been typing in, and I'm like, oh, thank I cried a couple times on air. What? Cried right here. Yeah, we're gonna put it back. Cry? Wow. We cried, cried together. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I, I didn't cry. Well, you know. But look, we wanna talk, wanna talk about your boy. <sighs> okay. Speaking of artists. Okay. okay. One of the most talented artists out there and uh, singers. He's a, I don't think he rap. Do he rap? I think he can. If right. he want to. Yeah, he probably can't rap. Yeah, there's not much he can can't do. Uh my my one, one of my favorites, Jamie Foxx has been hit with a, a legend, y'all. Wait a minute. Ray? Yeah, Ray. She gives me money. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Was she was she a gold then? Do, 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 she do, do, she <laughs> So wait a minute. Okay, he got allegedly. <laughs> he got I'm gonna say allegedly. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead, go ahead. What you say? He go. allegedly got hit with a uh, lawsuit, uh, charge, some kind of charge. Okay. Okay, and when, when I'm, I'm listening to this on the news, and it's like Jamie Foxx has been. Allegedly charged with slap back. Hey, love. Hey, Jazz. Has been, Jamie Foxx has been allegedly charged with smacking a woman in the face with his penis. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. When we say this allegedly, first of all, how you get in that position? First of all, I'm just saying. How you get? Uh, what, what? Okay, okay. Wait. Oh, let's back it up. No, no, no. Let's no, back no, it up so, a little bit. Let's okay. back it up just, a, just a, a smidge. Okay. Okay. This might not be real though, too. It might. So we say when, when you smack somebody, right? You, you get it's quick. It's, it's like they don't see it coming. It's like what? What you say? Smack. You just got smacked. Right. Or you get back and you turn your back. Yeah, no. Yeah, you get stolen. In order that for you, a... in order for you to get smacked in the face by a penis, you have to be looking for. You it. have to be in penis position. 
That's what I'm saying. Like, whoa, whoa. pole position. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly? What, you can turn it off now. What exactly? <laughs> what's she doing? Man. What What were you doing to get smacked in your face? But this is allegedly, though. We like I said, that. though, how, I mean, what, what, what? You know what, man? I'm going to tell you something. Did I have a video on this? It seemed, it seemed like every week another one of these stars are getting hit. You know, with the what is it the the PP what the PP oh the yeah <laughs> no just the PP laughing my butt off oh okay okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nah, I, I, no I'm just saying like what it was last time we got together with Marvin Freeman dirty old Marvin Freeman yeah he dirty everybody dirty now you got Jamie Fox aka Wanda aka uh, Ray, aka the violinist, mm. aka mm. Uh, <laughs> all the movies. Y'all know what he was in. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, 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 he done a lot. <laughs> he was I mean, he's a. I'm just okay. This reminds me of the Tyson situation. Mm. You going up to the room at two thirty in the morning? What you going up there for? I'm just saying I'm just to get. To, I'm just going to visit. To get slapped. No, yeah. no, I'm just going to visit. So she, so she said she got slapped all the way in the mouth with the pen. Like. Oh, you just okay, the, the okay. Bitty, bitty. But she, okay. <laughs> but, but I mean some cake. <laughs> because I'm going to use my birthday cake. I'm just, just, I'm just saying like, and this makes it. And yeah. And, and, and then you get to tell somebody this. Now the people that she told, what, they were like, what? they didn't ask no questions. They just said, "Oh my God, Jimmy Fox is smacked in the face with his penis." Wow. And they just went with it. Now had they said, "Or kill I mean, you know, I mean, I, I know, I, I, he keeps making the news though. I'm just saying, girls, like, girls are standing up to get smacked in the face. I mean, Kelly. they don't care. They, I, you pee on me. Oh. I do put me down. I'm first. They fighting for the position. They fight. They fight for. So it, I don't blame that on R. Kelly. They fighting for the pole position. I blame it on girls. Them little nasty tail girls. Yeah. Around I mean, you know. Because <laughs> if See, you take if you take away R. Kelly, you still gonna have them little nasty tail girls. Well, who, who are these girls role models? Are they watching? Ooh, ooh don't say are that. They, you gonna make somebody mad? Are they, are they watching? You gonna make somebody mad? I'm telling you. Are they you. watching them, them Kardashians? So, I mean, do you do what work for you? Maybe so. I guess I don't know. Hmm. I mean, I don't know, but it just seems to me like you know what that uh, you sent me a, a video uh, earlier. It was a, that poetry. Uh, who, who was that that did that? I don't know the lady's name. It's a lady. She said poetry. The lady in the poetry was talking about. Um, Basically, white privilege. Uh huh. Okay. So, it was one part that got me. Well, actually, a couple parts. But the one that got me was, I think, when she was talking about the young white girls twerking. Mm hmm. And the girls going wild. And the girls going wild. That's what she was talking about. They said when, when, when black girls did it, it was ghetto. Uh huh. But when they did it, it becomes like uh, a party thing. Just yeah, they just young and dumb. They just they, they, they just doing silly stuff. Nothing. So I mean, it's a it's a double standard there. But my but, thing is, but still, all these guys, all these other older white guys that been welcome, getting in welcome, trouble. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, they hey, Sherry. Yeah, welcome. So you said all these these white guys, they they, they what what happened? Where are they now? I mean, what's what happened to their little story? Hmm. Good question. Good question, man. It's, 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 it's a very good question. Because it just, it just disappears when it comes to them, but when it's us, it's like, take them out. Get them out the game. Don't listen to their music. Take their CDs off the shelf. Pull all the Living Color. Pull all Jimmy Fox shows. Wow, pull, they, they really going after them like that? I'm just saying, but that's Oh, that's, that's the next it, move. Yeah. yeah, that's how it be. Now, did, has he made a response to this claim that you're aware of? I, I have no idea right okay. now. But maybe somebody then, maybe his publicist or somebody said something. Usually you have to respond 
yeah. right away. Oh, they just, it must be true. Hold on, we got a phone call. Oh, we got a call coming in, okay. Hold on. Call from? Jakeem Carter. Hey, young man, you, oh, we lost you. Call back. Call back. <laughs> call back. We lost you, man. We lost you. We got the number. We put the number out there, right? Yeah, yes. the number. Okay. Definitely call back. We need you. Yeah. Man, we go quick, man. I like that, huh? Miss. Yeah, it's, it's all right. Got all this hurting right now. Man, all. Just. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, I'm being honest, man. Like, some of this stuff is kind of getting ridiculous. Because, I mean... If you go outside now and walk around, you know, people will say, you know, the craziest thing. And it just, it's no, it's no, it's just, they said it's got to be true. Got to be true. Right away. Yeah. Oh, black guys dumping this trash in somebody else's trash can. Just, this is my trash can. I'm just Yeah. Come, come with us. Well, you know, now, if, if you, you go to jail, if you play your music in your car, you stand outside your car. Some places they say that's you know felony. <laughs> you can't be you can't be talked to. I don't know if it's a felony, but yeah, yeah. probably. Oh, if you're black, it's a felony. Ooh. If oh, you, oh, if you, oh, you going with the color? Oh, oh, we don't we don't see color. Man, I wish it was the way that we could put that link to that. Uh, are we able to do that? I so, think so. If we can put that link up, I mean, if y'all can watch. Basically, which one? The uh, the young lady that did the poem. Yeah, I put it in the I put it in the link. On please the, watch this. It's gonna be on YouTube because y'all can go to YouTube and it, watch it. It basically it basically broke down basically how everything that we do, if we do it, we get condemned, but then it gets turned around and it's used, and then it's celebrated. And so basically. It was like saying that we need to work up, we need to support each other, we need to know that, um, man, just check it out. I don't want to, you know, it yeah. just, there's a lot of truth in it. So if you can check it out. I, um, put, the, I put the link in the description. And, uh, man, I, y'all can check I, it out. Have you talked about Trump yet? Uh uh-uh, uh, what he did? Something else? Man, well, the big the big deal now is about these families being broken up. Oh yeah! Like they supposedly got some. Um, I guess I want to. I don't want to say concentration camps because that's kind of heavy, but pretty much they got tents where they just didn't took the children, and the children is there. That's like and the parents are being expedited. Have you so, ever, have you ever watched what happened on Monday? Oh yeah, 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 with the, the seven sisters, something like that. Ain't yeah, kind of like a control thing. Yeah, I, I, I watched half. That's a crazy movie. Yeah. But um, I mean, they right now. I mean, uh, Oprah was even. Um, she had a thing. I think it had something this morning on Good Morning America, and they were talking about you know we need to start talking about it. It's getting a lot of backlash from people who were saying. Uh, you know, doing the immigration policy, people weren't saying that under uh, Barack's right. administration. But my thing was, people weren't being uprooted and they weren't being moved. And so, I mean, my thing is, be informed, right? Know what's going on out there. Find out some information. And uh, like I said, I, I I feel for the families because it's like, you know, you know, being a father, the idea of Somebody just taking my key and separating. It's That's just wrong. wrong on so many levels. And these spokespeople, man, in the, in the White House, they 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 heartless, man. If you you heard them, how they talk? Yes, man. They look like crazy folks. Man, man, I, they talk. I, I don't know. I, I think she might be the speaker of the house, but man, she. Ah, oh, man, she, she. I think it was uh, uh me and D. We was watching a clip, and the, you know the reporters they go in and they ask uh, mm-hmm. the questions. And she kept reflecting, and it was like, it was like kind of how like um, a scene where you'll see um, two black people kind of have an interesting conversation where they are, uh, you know, going she, back and forth. Yeah, she actually sounds just like Trump. Oh, oh, he talking. oh, well, well, late the dude, the dude, he wouldn't let it go. He was like, "Don't you got children?" Right. And she was just like, she couldn't say nothing. 
So, man, like just, I say, just kind of talk to them like next and call somebody else. I well, that's, that's 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 what you you know. Yeah. That's that's that's, that's, that's a strategy. Doing. Just keep doing it, you know, until they stop asking questions. Just until ignore, they stop. It'll go away. Just ignore it. It'll it'll go away. No, you know. No, it's not. No, I mean it's a that's a man. You would think in 2018 that would man. You know, and, 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 and you know, give these people a path to uh, citizenship. You know, if they listen, okay. I know you got some people who want. We are gonna probably catch some flack for this, but we just gotta see. I know some people gonna say, "Well, you know, you can't go to any country and just go there and not be a citizen." I get that, and I think that everybody living in this country should try to apply to be a citizen of this country. But a lot of the people that are being insensitive to some of these people don't understand the conditions of the countries that they're coming from. Mm -hmm. Some of them are plagued by violence. Some of them, you know, they, uh, you know, um, you know. When I, I've just said I've seen kids that come from Central America, and right. they, you know, it was a lot of drugs and violence and gangs, and they wanted to escape that. And so, you know, I mean, if you had a child and you wanted to try to give him the best, you know, I mean, it's just like, what do you do when your life is in danger every day? It's like, you know, if you're growing up somewhere like, um, like Afghanistan, somewhere where it was right. war plague, I mean, that's not normal for somebody to be, I mean, you talk about post-traumatic stress, man, I mean, yeah. but, uh, but, but, but apparently you got a group of people who feel like, um, they should basically be arrested. Yeah, of course. For um, seeking, you know. Now, I'm gonna say if you come here from another country and you're not trying to, you know, work and you're a criminal and stuff, oh, I'm not talking about that, but some of these people have been living here 20 years and they're working, they're paying taxes, they, you know, man. Something to think about, man, just something, uh, Definitely. Yeah. yeah, but like you say, it's it's not only over there. It's right here, right here in our backyard. Okay. Look at look at some of these. Uh, uh, you, you can go right there to Tennessee. Uh, What's going on, on Tennessee? On Bill Street, they always getting shot over there. Okay. Uh, Chicago, Detroit, yeah. they always say, getting shot. It's like a did you zone. see that that happened over the weekend? That war. 20 something people that got shot and I think four or five of them killed. It was on the news like Saturday it's morning. A war zone. Right, right. It's a war it's, zone. It's, Just like you said, the, the kids over there in Afghanistan, they live in a war zone. It's the same thing over here, post traumatic syndrome. Right, right. They should have it. I mean, what's the difference? They had a funeral every Twice, uh, three times in the weekend. Three funerals in the weekend, every weekend. Wow. Yeah. Same thing, it's a war zone. It's horrible, man. But you still want to run over to the Waffle House, get your, get your stinky, dirty waffles. And, and <laughs> Man, Waffle House is killing you. Stop the Waffle House. That's, <laughs> if I'm going to advocate, they, they, man. Stop the Waffle House, stop the beef, and stop fooling with these crazy women before you be ending up like Jamie Foxx and CeeLo. You know, uh, CeeLo got in trouble too. Again, well, he ain't really getting in trouble. He was CeeLo slapping like Jamie or what do you do this time? Let me tell you about CeeLo. Okay. Now y'all know I've been following CeeLo for a long time. I didn't know CeeLo was so gangster, man. Like, you know, like- Hold on, you ain't no CeeLo. I First know of all, so still a little more than five feet tall. Yeah. And we can still brawl the guy. I ain't scared at all. I guess you niggas don't know I can't see that it ain't even why I introduce it directly. Let's see, you going to the good in my I'm, I see, wasn't, that was good in my I wasn't a good I wasn't a good in my fan. I'm not even gonna lie. D, she was straight up good in my Good she, in my She knew all the songs. Uh uh What was that one that was real popular? What's uh, up, Kyle Blue? Was the one they was people don't dance no more. All they do is this. All they do, yeah. All they do is this. Was that was that the good mom? Yeah, that was a good mom. That was dance the soul no food soundtrack, I think. Okay, well I know that song because it was just. But I don't know. I just know how I found out about CeeLo. They did a documentary on Atlanta, and it really was following Outkast and you know how they had cool Dre and Big Boy, 
And then they was like, man, CeeLo was out in them streets, man. He was getting that money. Pistol whoop. I'm like, whoa, whoa, CeeLo was doing that? Like, you know, uh, what's the what's the what's the show he's on now? Or well, he was on. Like uh, the sign of, was America Got Talent or No, the voice. He was on the voice, like that guy, the nice guy, the changing his voice. <laughs> so wait a minute, what, what did he do? What, did, what was he Okay, doing? my boy CeeLo Green, one of my favorite artists. Okay. He got in trouble a while back, right? Okay. He says, uh, well, they, it was alleged okay. that he had like date raped a girl. Ah. And I'm like, no, not CeeLo. So not he, CeeLo. He, he pleaded no contest and beat the case. Well, if you pleaded no contest and beat the case. So he played. No so they, they they could not have had no no nothing on him, you know. They didn't have anything on him. So he he said, I don't think he said not guilty. He said no contest, mm -hmm. and he beat the case. So recently, he's on Twitter tweeting with somebody, right? And I don't really remember what the other person said, but he come back and his comment was, mm. it ain't rape. If they knocked out. Whoa, 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 whoa. CeeLo, CeeLo must be drunk when he said that. Somebody hacked his account. Somebody had to hack this. Somebody had uh, CeeLo, I wish that's, you. That's, I, I, I wish you, homeboy. You, if she showed up at 2 o'clock in the morning, she knew what it is. I wish you, if I walked it out, she looked at it and hit it in the face. <laughs> I can't go with you when you say if she was knocked out, it ain't right. Wait, that's did, that's pretty much right. You just like walked it out. You just walked it out of this. <laughs> you know, with you know, I'm just saying, man. You Walk can't. Bottom, bottom, bottom. You can't. <sighs> wow. Hey, let's just say, let's just say his account got hacked. This got to be. Let's say his account got hacked. Okay. Wow. Which I believe. I'm, hey, I'm with you, CeeLo. I think someone, you know, um, hacked his account. What's his name? Uh, Nick Cannon. Uh oh, Nick is from that. No, oh, I don't know. Well, you know, he, you he be wild now. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying, but 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 he uh actually he was actually talking about a company that he was starting because he said that if you can create something that's a need that ain't nobody else done, that's one of the quickest paths to getting rich. And I don't know if this company exists. I gotta. Pull it up, but I, I read a little bit about it. Basically, this was a consensual site that you and a and a potential person that uh, if y'all agreed to have sex, y'all would sign off like a contract. So if later on something came out, oh, you have a contract that you agreed to have sex mm. with, him. and that way you keep it in. Whatever. I need to get my hand on some of them contracts and sell them. And that's what well, everything is handled through that uh, through that through that company. What I mean, about going that company and buy some? Well, you, you buy insurance. Oh, it's it's called sex insurance. Oh, so if you get hit or if you hit, you don't get hit back. Oh. oh. <laughs> 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 Yeah, <laughs> if you hit, you don't get hit back. That's what that's what they. If you hit, you don't get hit back. You don't get hit back. There you wow. Go. Yeah. So mm. just check it out, man. Google, you know, Nick Cannon. Next time it comes, I'll have a name, but I'll let you know. But um, apparently, he he through talking with. So somebody can get hurt, and you okay? Then you're all right. You could, huh? you could you could hurt somebody Ooh. and not get hurt back. Ooh. So, literally, it's, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's crazy. But um, on a serious note, you know what I mean? It's, you know, I, I would say for the people, you know, who have been victimized, say that is not a laughing matter. We not condoning that. We not condoning that at all. all. But uh, when you listen to some of this stuff, it just sounds, some of it a little suspect. Yeah, because I know y'all got some cousins or brothers out there. Now, y'all know, y'all don't want that put on your brother or your cousin right. or nothing like that. That's some of the stuff is crazy, right. man. Right. Y'all know how these girls act. That's right. That's right. I'm so, not saying all girls act like that or deserve stuff like that, but I'm just saying some girls are crazy. 
I mean, and and you look, you look, look some you look at, and then some of those guys, because they have influence, because they have money, they're I'm talking. Saying. They may be a target. They got that target on them. So, just be careful, and uh, basically, you better, you better, wherever you are, you better have some tape rolling. You better have some audio where you can hear. And before you do anything, you better get an understanding. So you are agreeing, right? Right. You know, and then it, because you just never know. Yeah, exactly. Wow, man. That's crazy. So, man, you, you got a birthday today. How, how old you turned today? 42. Damn. 42. You're being ashamed, but at age 42, you just. Oh, no, man. It's a blessing. Yeah, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Man, you know, man, I, 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 I share a little story, man. Is that, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would tell you, man. I've been knowing, I've been knowing you now for a bit about almost close to maybe twenty years. Man. We just gonna round it at twenty. Yeah. yeah. Years ago, man, I met this young man right here, and uh, you know, we was where was we working at? We was working at Corporate Express. Cor wow. Corporate Express, yeah, I don't even think it's called that no more. Nah, it's called Staples. It's actually Staples. Okay, okay, but it was I was the black up. Young man, I was working in the bulk area. This young man was on the docks, loading the trucks up, doing his thing. Man, for months, you didn't say nothing. And remember when you first said, uh, I forgot the first thing you said, but it, it shocked me because you, you know, you spoke. Mm -hmm. And he spoke so well, I say, man, I thought this dude was a mute. <laughs> no, seriously, I thought you couldn't talk, man. And, and, and you know, and then you said, hey, man, and, you know, I draw. And I was like, what? Hey, man, he can talk and he can draw. <laughs> the first picture you showed me was like some stick figures or something. Yeah. I was, and I was really looking at you sideways because I was like, this brother crazy right here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, next thing I know, man, I'm flipping the pages, and then, man, it started evolving. I was like, you know, I done watched you, man, and you done grew from, that was when you was drawing pencil. Mm -hmm. And you elevated to, what was that? Pencil color. It was pencil color. Prism colors. Prism colors. Acrylic. Then got on that oil. Man. Yeah, man, you, you did, you doing your thing, and now you got Talk show? A boy, a, a, a guy that can't talk got a talk show. A guy that I <laughs> assume allegedly couldn't talk got a talk show. Doing your thing. I remember, man, one time you came to me and said, Hey, Zach, man, I'm going to play the monitor. I just looked at you because I felt like, you know, who am I? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cause I ain't heard that. That's old school. He, go, he going crazy again. He going crazy again. <laughs> Lo and behold, couple weeks later, cause you let about all the take a week. He's like, man, I got a little song, man. You want to hear it? Then next thing I know, I'm hearing this. I'm hearing this sound, and I'm looking where the sound coming from, and I'm like, wait a minute. You, what sound you heard? Man, it was. It was. It was Man, I was up, man. Man, something he just, like it was a little something like that. I mean, you know, and that was the first from this. No, that's probably what I do right there. Just, you know. No, that's how I first thought it. Oh, that's that. Oh, okay, just blowing it out. To this. It's really something spiritual about the harmonica. I don't know. I watched uh, <laughs> this was uh, yesterday, <laughs> an old school video of Roger Troutman and Zap. Mm. You remember that 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 do -wop, that do -wop. Do -wop, yeah do what I did do 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 and, that. and he was playing it and it was like it's a connection to blue like like have you traced that like is the harmonica connected to the it's like connect because it just make people. I mean, you go, you it make you frown when you first. Ooh. Well, it make you like, like it's it's old, uh -huh. it's it's sacred, and so you like. Let me just say, you just had that in you, just one day you just gonna do with it. Well, I'm, I, I, I 
can I tell some people about this story? Can I tell you about the story? Well, about I'm listening. I'm listening. What made me get the harmonica is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a call We're coming. Call. We're coming. I promise we're coming back to the store. Hold on. Don't want to hear this. Hold from. Hey, young lady on the phone live with Talk Up. What's going on? How you doing? What's your name? Where you calling from? Hi. I am well. My name is Victoria, and I'm calling from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oh, hey, Victoria. Hey, Victoria. Hey, Victoria. Hi. <laughs> I got something from Victoria in the mail the other day. Awesome. Yes, you did. Let me read it. I'm going to read it on air. I'm going to read it right now. Let me see. Ah, don't get scared now. Uh-oh. <laughs> it said, live it up on your birthday. <laughs> and it says, uh, here's a guy who knows how to live. You work hard, play hard, and have set, and have much to give. Here's to a guy I'm proud to call a friend. Uh, may your birthday be great from beginning to the end. Happy birthday from Atoria. Oh, wow. <laughs> man, man, friends like that are gold. Yes, 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 Is yes. you crying, man, on the aisle? You crying? <laughs> Breaking news, Silky Black is a tear that shed. <laughs> Okay, it's, it's going back up his eye now. It's going back up. It's gone. It was, we had a quick moment. Real quick, real quick. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, all right. Wow. Real quick. Yeah, I, I, have been, I, have been, I haven't tuned in to the show tonight. I'm just tuning in and just kind of calling. Um, I just had to get on air and tell my friend happy, happy birthday. All right. And I pray that your new year is prosperous Man. and healthy and happy. I hope so too. That's some good stuff right there. We yes. we gonna make we gonna make it work. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. You got it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Well, happy birthday, and I'm gonna tune in. Y'all have a good night. Okay. Well, thank you for calling here. You be good out there, all the way from Oklahoma. Y'all give it up, for Oklahoma. Shout out, yeah, shout yeah. Out Oklahoma. yeah. Man. Bye. All right. Call in. Call in. Call in. Man. Yeah, that's all oh, right. Thank, man. thank you, Toria. Man. Uh, Live your life up. So, you said about the story about the harmonica. You yeah, said the story how you got the About how I got the harmonica. Okay. I, I sing and everything, right? Mm -hmm. So, I was like, well, I'm going to do a show and I'm going to learn how to play the guitar. And I'm gonna sing and play the guitar at the same time because I've seen people do it before. Correct. So I go to the store. I got a little cash on me, probably about 150 bucks. You know, just buy cash, get right. up out of there. That's right. I says, uh, yeah, where, where's your where's your lead guitar? It's like acoustic, or, you know? Right. The dude was like, he pointed, he was like, hey, right back there. So I go back there, and the price tags was 400. Way too high for me. I didn't have that much money. When my bank account seven hundred, <laughs> seven eight hundred dollars. I'm like, yeah, they, they, what, they, they what, what the cheap ones at? Yeah, that the was cheap. cheap. Was six fifty. Yeah, that was cheap. Six right ninety nine. Right. Yeah, and yeah. so I was like, yeah, that was just acoustic. You didn't even go to yeah like electric. That's that's fifteen hundred. <laughs> that's sixteen seventeen hundred. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to learn this. The guitar every time, son. Okay. So I kind of walked around. And I was about to leave, okay. and I was like, "Well, what else they got?" And I looked in a little case. I said, "Uh, are these harmonicas?" And uh, he was like, "Yeah." I said, "Well, hmm, small to put in your pocket." Take it anyway. I said, "Well, how much are those?" And he was like, "Uh, oh, twenty five dollars." Twenty five dollars? Yeah. I said, "Give me two of them." Yeah. Give me. In the key of C and G, right there. there. Go, there so go. I got two harmonicas that day, and I knew my cousin. I, I got a cousin, uh, Gate Mouth Brown. He passed away probably about ten years ago. Mm -hmm. But Gate Mouth Brown was an uh, actual country singer, country blues singer, uh, country western blues singer, black guy, real big in that in that genre. Mm -hmm. And uh, I knew he played the harmonica a little bit. And I was like, well, if he learned, I can learn. Mm -hmm. So I started listening to some of his stuff, started listening to some of my old stuff, 
And so I call my mama and I say, Mama, look, I, I, I'm not playing the harmonica. Mm. Well, baby, let me call you back. I'm on the phone. <laughs> mama didn't do you like mama, that. Mama, mama got off the phone with me. So I was like, okay, a couple, couple more weeks passed. Uh -oh. I practiced, I practiced. I was like, okay, mama, mama, hold, hold on. I, I got a song for you. Yeah. Uh oh, that caught the ear a little bit. She said, uh, uh, I, I'm gonna have to call you back. I'm, a, I'm on the other line. Okay, okay. I was like, man, I ain't good enough yet. Oh, 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 yeah, go back to the song board. So a couple more weeks, a couple more weeks passed. So I said, I'm ready, I think I'm ready. Come on. I called my mama. Yeah. I say, mama, I, I got I got a song. I got uh, I've been practicing. Yeah. She said, let me hear you. I say. Mm. She say, hold on. Wait a minute. She put me on hold. She came back. Now play that song again. Uh. They want to hear you. Oh. So I said, yeah. Man. Wow. He said, play that again. They want to hear you. I said, mm. You know what? Your face do frown up when you hear it. You know what I think? <laughs> I think the reason why your face frown up is because it, it reminds you. Man, I remember, man, You, my grandmother turned 90 and you showed up. Yeah, and you played. We had a, a reunion, and uh, not a reunion, but like a, a, a birthday, birthday party. party. And uh, I said, I got a young man coming up to uh, gonna play the uh, harmonica. And, oh. and you, I remember when you saying that, people was like, "Yeah, right. Come on." Well, yeah, because you know when people hear, they like that. That's almost think about it. How many people you know that can play the harmonica? It's almost it's becoming a lost kind of art. You know, long story short, you came there and shoot out there. Everybody was up dancing, and well, jigging, and all kinds. And, of and stuff. It, it happens like this all the time. I'm kind of used to it, but when it first happened, you know, I went up to the mic. I kind of spoke to everybody. Hey, how y'all doing? And you know how people they still be talking in the background. Yeah. And then, uh, but one once old girl said something, everybody looked up like, yeah, like whoa, yeah, what was that? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then so she got the attention. And then after that, they was come on, what you got? Play some more, youngster. Uh oh, yeah. So, so we had a good time that day. So let me ask you, cause you now everybody, you kind of known for it, you know, when you're doing your thing, mm. you get requested. Let me say to do that. I think uh -huh. you, you know, you 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 done it in a whole lot of venues, man. You done been on a ship doing it. You done been opening up for people and doing it in, in like, Mexico. You was in Mexico. Oh, that was not that was the one right there. Man. Cause you had they was not on beat with you. <laughs> but let me ask you, man, do, do you ever like get that feeling when, you know, I guess cause you known for it and they show up and be like, hurry up, play it, you know. Play the monkey. You be like, hello, how you doing? Just play it. Yeah. Just, like yeah, you just sometimes. Okay. I, okay. They they like when I, I got a good intro for myself. So okay. they like my intro too. They like <laughs> Make them laugh, and interact with them and stuff. And so, do you, do you ever kind of tease them like when you start to play, and you play like you don't know how to play? No. And then, you, oh, you just come straight out. Yeah, they they they, 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 be on, they be on with tomatoes. Oh no no no! You don't, <laughs> you don't play with them. Yeah, you gotta come yeah. on. You, you gotta give you gotta give it to them. You gotta sign that uh contract first. Man. <laughs> you gotta sign that uh. Man. You gotta sign that Nick Cannon contract and then give it to them. <laughs> Sign it before you hit it, <laughs> so you won't get hit. <laughs> Lord have mercy, man. Yeah. yeah. Wow, man. But I'm just saying, you know, I, I think that the harmonica, unlike any other instrument, it just it makes people feel good. So maybe there's some kind of healing in it. I don't know. But uh, definitely, that's your thing. If you do anything, I think it is something in there. It's something in there because it's a unique sound. It's different. And uh, <clears throat> once you put it to a mic and uh, and an amplifier, you you get some sound. You get some people attention. Well, I mean, I know it's one of the old instruments. I know, like you know, like in the early twenties, and you know, time we didn't have all the instruments. You know, all you had was a, a tap and a, and, a, and a sound, and somebody would play it. 
that somebody get up and sing. And so I don't know about for, for a lot of other people, but I know with um, African American people, there's definitely like a connection to music. Yeah, but when see the the harmonica been around for a while, mm -hmm. and that was a cheap instrument that black folks could afford or get their hands on, and they. They mastered it back then. They mastered it. They because like you said, you can take it anywhere, just gotta keep it clean and uh keep it keep it on you. I keep mine in the case. I you know, some of them I don't have a case and now they all messed up. They got rocks in them, rice in them, rice in them, beans in them. Say man, you eat one, you eat one. come on. Man. Yeah, sometimes you blow rice in them and just gotta throw it away. Gotta throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it is they easy to keep, they Pull them out anywhere. Real light. They make them. They make them different. This one is is plastic. Of course, the reeds inside are brass, but the outs the uh, the uh, mouthpiece is plastic. The outside is uh, chrome. But mm -hmm. you know, some of them is made of wood, and the wood sound real good, but they don't last that long. They got a real rich sound. I wish I had my case up in here. No, what did you? Did you? Uh, you had a yeah, somebody give you a harmonica one time. Yeah, this lady gave me a vintage harmonica. Yeah, and it's uh, how that came out. You she did she hear you playing? Yeah, or? she heard me playing outside, and she walked over there, Miss Williams. Okay. She lived across the street from us, and uh, she came. She was like, "Baby, I ain't heard nobody play like that in years." Oh, you tore it up. I was standing up outside. I was practicing. Okay. And uh, she says. Uh, baby, I haven't heard nobody play like that in years. I got a lot of them things in the house. Wait a minute. I go get you one. She just went in the house, got you one? She went in there and got me a uh, uh, harmonica. Wow. And I wish I could show it to y'all. I'm going to show it next time. I'll show it next time. Yeah, and, it, uh, it looks nice. It looks really nice. It's, it looks different. It's wood. It's made of wood. And I don't want to blow it. I want to keep it. Preserve it. Yeah. Because I know, I know it's worth something. Wow. This this ain't even a toy looking harmonica. This is yeah. Because when I saw it, I, I, so I, I didn't even know. You know, you had harmonicas in different styles, like wooden. Yeah, they got. When I they got it. I was like, man, this is this is almost like a piece of. You know, it's a piece you can put in your house or something. Like, yeah. The, like a vintage piece or something. It's a. Uh, this is E flat. I'm blowing on right now. This is E flat. Uh, that E flat goes with B flat. A goes with D. Like the uh, the uh, do wop do I did it. That's do I did it. That okay. song is in A, but you play in D. You would need a key a D harmonica for that song. You know you got a C. Uh, C go with G. Uh, you know it, it's just it's pretty much on the on the music scale. It's four away. Whatever the song is. You go four away to that note, to the harmonica note, and that's what you play. Man, you know, I was just thinking, just saying, have you ever thought about doing YouTube on how to? Because you really knowledgeable about I this. Know. Yeah, I, you I, know, just how to, because I mean, you know, I mean, I, I, I mean, I bought one in, in the store for my son. It was like five. I'm like, you know, if black can do it, you know, I can do yeah. it. <laughs> what nothing but there's a bunch of hair going out there. I'm like, I don't know where the tongue go, what the head and all that, that, that. I just say, oh. You and, and and a lot of people say, what what do you do? Yeah. I, say, I use and my then tongue, I, and I then use then my lips. And then you run it across real quick. I can yeah. make that. That's about all I can do. You, I you, you, I, you have to do all of that and more. Hey, Ayana. Yeah, that's my cousin. Thank you. You you have to do all of that at the pretty much at the same time. You gotta you gotta tighten your lips, relax your lips, use your tongue, tighten your lips, let them go. Man, this, this, oh, this seems like a like a I don't know, man, like a course. Oh, like an e course or something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying we got yeah, I just I'm just saying because I don't know many people just like if they if I want to learn how to play the guitar, I go to YouTube. Mm -hmm. But you know, on the harmonica, it's just you know, first of all, finding somebody that. You know, like they didn't grow up doing it. You know and, what I'm saying? And with the harmonica, it's kind of hard to teach because you can't really show them. Right, 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 right. Because on a on a guitar, you can see the fingers. Right, 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 right. You right. can't really see what my mouth and my lips is doing. I mean, you can kind of. But you can, like you just said a second ago, you can explain it. Right. You know, in a way to where 
you know, people can, you know, they can hear it and they can go from there. Because you got so much going on, you got to suck, you got to blow, you got to loosen up. You All the time. Four yeah. different sounds. On the same note. On the same note. Hey, you know what, man? And I'm going to tell you why I like the harmonica. Growing up, I was one of them big Western fans. So, you know, uh, the Clint Eastwoods, you're going to hear. Hold on. Something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was I like, like it was like, it, like it, yeah. That's, that's a flu. flu. I think, that's a, flu? A, I think that's a flu, yeah. Oh, well, maybe it's a flu. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, hey, I just know it's that, it's that, it's that, it's that solo, that solo instrument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See when when you, when you do that uh, vibrato on the harmonica, it make you want to shut shut your eyes and shake your head like shit. this. Man, it's a, it's, a, it's almost like a like a story. Yeah. Yeah, baby, <laughs> let me tell you how, how I feel about you, babe. Live. <laughs> we did, this is went from the radio station to yeah. live in the hall. The music concert of City Black. House of Blues. House of Blues, man. Only on Talk Up. Only on Talk Up, y'all. Hey, thank y'all for watching tonight. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. <laughs> man, I wish you many, many more birthdays. You want some more cake? Nah, because it's so rich, man. It's, it's like. I might take a piece with it, but I'm just you saying know what? It's, so, it's so it's so rich. A uh, uh, half a pint of ice cream would be go good with this. A uh, half pint of ice cream kill it. It'll kill it. It'll kill it. It'll I'll hit be, it. I'll be done, son. It'll hit it and get that insurance. Oh. So it don't hit you back. <laughs> Ooh, in the morning. <laughs> Try to get out that door. Oh, oh, I can't man. leave. I can't leave. Oh man, that's all right. That's yeah. just. Uh, but thank y'all for watching. Yeah, thank you, thank you for watching. Happy, uh, thank, thanks, man. Thank you, man. Angel. Yeah, man, I'm 42, 42 years old. I'm getting up there. 42. Hey, Connie. You sure late joining in the show. Oh, don't let me talk about you like that. Y'all supposed to be calling in talking about me like that. I'm talking about everybody. Y'all let me talk about y'all. Mm. Zach, they don't let me. I mean, the phone might start ringing. You talk to no one. You ain't got off the air yet. We ain't out the air yet. Somebody roast this dude, man. Yeah. Roast him. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you, Connie. Yeah, birthday. We got cake. Y'all want some cake? We got cake with these raspberries on the top. Delicious. Delicious, like my niece Aaliyah would say. Mm. Delicious. Mm. She don't talk like that no more. She used to. Mm. But look, she said, I'm sorry. Yeah, you late. You about an hour and a half late, maybe two hours late. Yeah. We gonna talk about you. Talk seven, seven o'clock. Talk up. <laughs> uh that's it, that's all we got. I think we covered everything. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, we got we got some uh a young lady coming to the show next week, I think. Okay. And uh, you gonna be here next week? Yeah, I'll be here next week. Okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make it happen, man. Thank y'all. Oh, I'm going to put on my Facebook page. Uh, my sister told me to do this, and I, I would like for y'all since. I, I never asked for any birthday money, but this is for my auntie, and I would like for y'all to uh, donate for her. Okay. Um, my aunt, Annabelle, we're doing a GoFundMe for her to get some kind of, some, some uh, repairs on her house, you know. Okay. Fix it up, get, get her house back, 
livable and uh you know not for me not for her because i don't really ask for stuff for my birthday i just think i should get birthday wishes for me i mean that's yeah. that's that's, that's, blessed enough. Enough. that's enough for me just uh i just like to like to hear people voice on my birthday you know what i'm saying you gonna put a link up or how yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a link up. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna actually put it on the show and on the YouTube. On my yeah, I'm gonna put it on the YouTube link. Okay. And I'm gonna put it on my Facebook page. Okay, awesome. So y'all go out there and donate, even if it's a dollar, two dollars. Yeah. You know. Every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. You give three dollars, that's a broom. Yeah. Three dollars broom. Four dollars, that's some sheet rock. That's right. $5, that's a hammer and some nails. That's right. Next thing you know, she got the whole left side of the house done. Mm. Hey Amen. Shout out to Lucia. went to church. <laughs> I missed church yesterday. Thank you, Black. Oh, yeah. How was your father's day yesterday, man? man? It was all good, man. The family, man. They <clears throat> went, took care of him. Wife, you know, she uh, did some wings cooking. and ah. I spent time with my boys. Shout out to my my father's cemetery and mm -hmm. paid my respect and uh yeah it was a cool day man I, I'm, I'm blessed man the family everybody's doing good and just a matter of just you know i mean a lot of time on father's day we get to you know we get the shot and the stick <clears throat> but uh you know it's really you know one of them days when you just really learn to appreciate you know what you have because you know the, the children and just you know having somebody look at you and know that they care about you, man. Ain't no price on that. Man, that's gold. That's so. all. Yeah, happy I can't complain. Happy Father's Day to my daddy. I ain't get to go down there, but they was down here the week before. Okay. We had a family reunion down here. He told me how much he appreciated me and everything. You know, it's just. Wait a minute. Is the tear coming halfway down again? It's done. Is it past halfway down? It's up. It was closed though. Yeah, it was closed. You just won't let it go all the way down the cheek. Let it go. Oh, uh, my cousin say play a little something for you. Uh, I've been playing all night, but I don't mind playing for one you. One time. One time. Let me see. Before we go. Hey, Kim. Thank you. Yeah. Show us on. birthday, I don't care. I know you ain't supposed to be eating. I'm talking in the mic. But hey, who cares? It's your birthday. Go, go show that. It's your birthday. Uh -oh. We go for the uh -oh. light. It's your birthday. We go super for the light. This, you know the alcohol cake, right? Hey, you, 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 you drinking a Bacardi in, yeah, for your birthday. Get that contract signed. Oh, you hear? <laughs> you get back. Before you hit, Sign a contract before you get it. That's all. <laughs> Man. So, who we got? Who we got for the Go Sit Joe Ooh. Down Award this week? Let me see. Yeah, we got to nominate somebody. Oh, which one? No, not 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 Jamie Foxx. No, what, because what that's about, that's still that's still going on. What about the uh, Waffle House? Yeah. 
Waffle House? Yeah, I think see, you just need to do it. It's between CeeLo and Waffle House. Yeah, CeeLo, but see, maybe they, let's just go with Waffle House. Okay, Waffle House. This week, please, go sit, sit your, your ass, ass down somewhere. Hey, Sorry, y'all, stop going support Sorry, my Waffle House. <laughs> Stop going uh, support. There's so many other places you can go. Yeah. You go to Dots. You got IHOP. You go IHOP. Yeah, they changed it. Why? <laughs> International House of Burgers. They don't do pancakes no more? So IHOP, you get to go wait, sit wait, down with Waffle House. Wait, wait, wait. So IHOP <laughs> compete with Wendy's not? I mean, I guess so. McDonald's? Lord, that mercy. Mm-hmm. Oh. You know, you got Frank's Grill. I mean, there's, there's a bunch of other places you can yeah. go to. Don't stay out of Waffle House. Stay out of Waffle House. They don't want They're you. Not They're not clean. They, 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 they're really not, man. They're they, not clean. Yeah. Mm. So, thank y'all. Thank you. See, man. Thank you for letting me come on the show today, man. Appreciate you. you know. Like my sister say, Daddy heard you too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's my dad. Mm. Love you, Daddy. Oh, all the way to Louisiana, baby. Hey. But uh, thank y'all for watching. Making another successful episode of uh, Talk Up. Talk Up, yeah, man. We out. We got a lot of calls. We got a lot of birthday shots tonight. I got my cake in. Ate all these sweets. I probably won't be able to go to sleep till about 4.30. Oh, man. That's the time I got to get up. So yeah. I might not even go to sleep. Uh-oh. So y'all messed me up tonight. Uh-oh. It's y'all fault. Sitting up here letting me eat all this cake. There you go. But it's my birthday. You can't stop me anyway. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I know I seem a little crazy. Hey, I want to shout out to my nephew that's always holding the dime for his uncle. Man. Akili. Y'all give it up for Akili. Man. Yeah. Producer. Yeah. Technician. Yeah. Take, baby. Make us Take. look wonderful, sound good, and everything. He told me today, take that shirt off. Because <laughs> I had this shirt. I didn't know this shirt. Mess up the light. Okay. And it was it was making me look super dark. I mean, I don't mind looking dark, but I just wanted to like for the people, you know. Right. So it was like, if you sure, if you sure, uh, manage it. Yeah. There you go. Man, it's all right. So thank y'all, y'all. And uh, I put all these links and stuff on Facebook and stuff. Yeah, I hit it up. Thank y'all. Love y'all for another year. Happy birthday. We've been doing a uh, talk up for how long? Six months, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's starting to take off. Six yeah. months, y'all. Keep, keep it going. Next thing yeah. I'm going to have a banner back here. That's right. With the logo, we're going to have two, three different cameras. That's right. You never know, baby. You never know. Wait till we start getting these guest stars coming in. You never know. Mm. It's getting good in the hood. All right, y'all. Love y'all. Be good. Hell yeah. Hold on, hold on, let me take this, let me take this.